Okay, leukemia was probably one of the ones that you starred in the beginning. Most everyone has heard that term, but you might not quite understand what it is. It's called leukemia because it begins in the blood forming tissue of the patient's bone marrow. Okay, it doesn't form solid tumors, but it really wreaks havoc on your body. You end up with large, I'm really large numbers of abnormal white blood cells because leukemia cells and leukemic blast cells are what really mess up those white blood cells. They build up in the blood and the bone marrow. Okay, so I don't have tumors with leukemia, but I end up with these large numbers of abnormal white cells. We call them leukemia cells and leukemic blast cells. That's what builds up in your bone and blood marrow. So now they don't have a, you don't have enough normal cells. So you end up with really poor oxygenation, they're at a bleeding risk, and they can't fight off infection. Look at the normal picture there. That's how things are supposed to be. Look at what it looks like for leukemia. Because these cells are building up in the bone marrow, that's why you don't have the ability to have good oxygenation, you're at an increased risk for bleeding, and you can't fight off infection because it hits all of the blood cells. So a sign we'd look for is we'd look at your CBC, look at your white cell count, we would look at the different types of white cells, we'd know that things are not right. But since it impacts the bone marrow, it hits all of those cells. Now, lymphoma begins in the lymphocytes. Remember, those are a type of white blood cells. We're talking about the T cells or the B cells. So abnormal lymphocytes build up in the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels and organs. So there's two types, Hodgkin's lymphoma or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So Hodgkin's lymphoma comes from Reed-Sternberg cells. They usually form from the B cells. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma are a large group of cancers that start in the lymphocytes. They grow either quickly or slowly. I know, that's a lot of help, but there's a big variance between different patients. These also form from B cells or T cells. So lymph cells, when we're talking about lymphoma, remember that it comes from T cells or B cells, those lymphocytes. And these abnormal lymphocytes build up in the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels and organs. You have Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And trust me, you really don't want either one. Now let's look at multiple myelomas. This begins in the plasma cells. So myeloma cells, um, they are these abnormal plasma cells build up in the bone marrow to form tumors throughout the body. This is very difficult for patients to deal with. It's extremely painful too. So it begins in the plasma cells. You end up with these myeloma cells. They're abnormal plasma cells that build up in the bone marrow and this makes tumors all over the body. So it's also known as plasma cell myeloma and Kaler disease. So multiple myeloma starts in the plasma cells and it spreads its nastiness throughout the body.